guys how to use AirSketch app. Um, AirSketch allows students to draw on their iPad and then project what they're drawing wirelessly through a laptop computer um, onto, so there's a laptop computer, onto the screen. So, okay, so here is our laptop cart. And you'll notice we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the laptops are marked. So I'm going to grab laptop number one. And laptop number one goes to little Jimmy. Little Jimmy opens his iPad, and this is what he sees. Forgive the glare. So I'm going to set this up here. So this is what Jimmy sees. So what he's going to do is he's going to go to Air Sketch. So I taught the kids how to use the search function to search. And it's going to be Air Sketch by a Grayon. Okay, somebody else has obviously clearly scribbled on this. So what you can do is you can use a little X button to start with a clear, can uh, clear canvas. And you can choose black. And I'm going to choose sort of a... Uh, a large thick um, marker there or I can choose a very thin marker or a somewhat less thin marker it gives you various colors okay so you can draw you can do math you know with the app okay and <clears throat> the eraser allows you to erase selectively or you can click the X to start fresh so the X to start fresh, the eraser to erase selectively, your color palette, your pen palette. Uh, here's, you can grab a pen and draw, draw again, and then you can undo selectively one stage at a time using undo and redo. Um, when you're done, you can save, uh, this what it says is save to photos, email as PDF, or, in, or uh, email as an image. Okay, so you can save the final document in those different ways. You can also pull a photo from your camera roll. So I'll take a random photo. Um, and now it allows you to crop or resize the photo. Make the photo larger, resize, do what you will with the photo. So I'm going to take that. And we got some features here to enlarge. And I'm going to click Done. Okay, and now, of course, again, you can always draw, uh, you can draw around things, point things out in the photo, and then save that as well. <clears throat> the little yellow folder icon um, gives, you full, gives you files that you can pull from as well, but there's no files in here currently. Okay, and then there's the little camera icon, which actually takes a snapshot of your image and saves it in that folder. So now we have something, the little folder icon shows you your saved images. Um, I'll take some red and color that in. Okay, I'm going to take a snapshot. Then I, can, then I can erase it and I can go to my folder and pull that back out. So there it is. Okay. And now perhaps the coolest thing is you can transmit this little guy, the wireless icon. Okay. What that does is it tells you, it gives you a server address. In this case, it's 10.21.40.8080. Okay. And what I've done is I've already added um, to the laptop that stays with the iPad cart and, a, and an iPad compliant. I've actually added, if you can see in the bookmark here, um, iPad 1, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, iPad 4, etc, etc, etc. So all I need to do, so what I've done, okay, let me just show you how I did that. I'm going to open a new tab, and I'm just going to type in the address uh, of that iPad. So it was 1020.1.40 colon 8080. I'm going to click, okay, click enter. And now, boom, what do you see on your screen? Exactly what the student has on their iPad screen. Okay, interactive whiteboard in the hands of every student. And since it's connected to a projector, it is now, voila, projected on the screen for the entire class to see. Okay, 
If I want to switch from a, another student's iPad, I just say, Johnny, or sorry, Susie, what iPad are you using? iPad 7. iPad 7. And you'll click the iPad 7. Okay? Now it says unable to connect because there is no iPad 7 currently connected. So we will grab iPad 7 just to prove how slick this works. And we will go and search for Air Sketch. And as soon as that pops up, boom, let's get started. Draw something. Very happy. Now, refresh that page. Boom. Happy face, projector, big screen. Welcome to sharing your iPad screen um, with AirSketch. Now, let me just quickly show you how I actually use this in class. Um, when students, when I had a, I had students do reflection on what they've learned in a unit, the one thing they'll remember 20 years from now. And uh, let's say they'll remember tigers. I had them go and do an image search and find an image that illustrates that one thing they're going to remember 20 years from now. Okay, that's all I did, and I said, I want you guys to find the image, and I want you to, to uh, download that to AirSketch, okay? And there's a couple different ways that they can do that. One way is by holding down the home button and the top button, okay? And you'll hear a little sound, okay? And it takes a snapshot of that. Now, in AirSketch, that photo is actually in my camera roll. Boom, tiger, okay? And we can rotate, and we can selectively crop. Let's see. We can crop the area, um, or at least part of the area, okay, out. But you get the point. So done, okay? Students can present... And I can say, well, you know, so what does, you know, what does your, uh, so students can present on the screen there, and we'll see their image. And quickly, you know, it's, it's amazing just to see how more, how much more rich the discussion was when there was an image to go, an image to illustrate the idea of the reflection. So that's uh, Air Sketch by Grayon. I hope you uh, enjoyed the, the brief presentation. Give it a shot. There's a free version that doesn't give you, it, it, you can still transmit wirelessly, but it doesn't give you all of the, the pens and a few of the other options. But it still does allow you to transmit your screen. So good luck, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.